lab is interested in understanding how exercise promotes brain health and specifically um, slows down cognitive decline in aging or Alzheimer's disease. And we have discovered there is an exercise hormone, it's called irisin. It's made in skeletal muscle when you exercise and then it travels through your bloodstream and it has beneficial effects on the brain. The idea is it's a natural hormone and then you could give it to people with the idea that recapitulate or encapsulate, recapitulate at least some of the effects that exercise has on the brain. Not all of them, please do not stop exercising. Exercising is very good for your brain. But the hope is, for example, for people that cannot exercise, um, you know, that's suffering from chronic diseases. For example, my own father, who, you know, if he's, he's lucky, he can make three or 4,000 steps. So to tell him, oh, why don't you run a mile every day to keep your brain healthy, that would be, you know, very difficult for him to do. The hope is that because we had tested irisin in, in mouse models where the mice were already, already sick, they already had a lot of pathology, and we were able to slow down cognitive decline. The hope is that if you would give it to um, Alzheimer patients, or not Alzheimer, but patients that already show the first signs of, of cognitive decline, that you can slow down the progression and you would have a much longer, maybe not disease-free, but like, you know, healthy, unimpaired lifespan. And that would be, that would be a home run if we could do that. The problem with academic research is that the type that is funded for, for basic research is not the data that you need to actually get a new drug approved. So there is this, um, this period where you have to switch from the basic science to the more translational research. And this is where the Harrington Discovery Institute comes in and can help out to make this transition faster, to make it more smooth, um, you know, avoid making maybe costly mistakes that you would have done. And the other thing also provide the necessary funding because this kind of research is usually not supported by the traditional basic research funding agencies. What is very exciting about our research is that um, we know very well from human studies how effective exercise is as a lifestyle intervention to you know, either slow down the cognitive decline, delay the onset, um, you know, improve brain health, but there's no therapeutics based on it. So if we can, harness this, this powerful um, effects that exercise has, that we know that it does have on brain health. If we can translate that into a drug that can be taken by patients, I think that's a very exciting new direction that no one has exploited so far.